As a new player, you might not know what to do or where to go or how to have fun. So today I'm going to show you how to play this game as if it was Escape from Tarkov. That's right. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go to an area of the game. We're going to do a quest to get some in-game money. And we're going to get a whole lot of loot, armor, guns, attachments, tools, healing items, you name it. We're going to stock up and you can do this completely gearless you don't need any prep a lot of other youtubers are going to tell you to go buy a backpack buy armor and guns you don't need any of that i'm going to tell you why okay so if you've died at some point or if you haven't died you should just have what's called an undersuit and a helmet all right but if you have died the game will provide this for free for you if it doesn't it does bug out sometimes you will need a helmet so uh, because you can't go into space if you don't. Also, uh, make sure that you've watched my previous video for newbies, which is titled, New Players Do This to Save Time in Star Citizen, okay? I just uploaded it. I don't have thumbnail yet, but it, the link will be in the description for you, okay? So check the description if you haven't watched it, if you're brand new. That's going to teach you how to get to where I'm at, which is over here at the Her L1 station. And what we're going to be doing is flying to Hurston and then doing a mercenary quest so we can get some easy money. So if you've watched that previous video, you'll know how to summon and fly your ship. So go ahead and summon your ship. Make sure that you have a helmet on because this is space. If you walk out here without a helmet, you die. All right. Uh, also, the undersuit, very important. Without one, you also die. Um, also, make sure you see that those icons in the bottom left corner, that 91% to 94%. Go lay down in a medical bed and make sure those are nice and filled up, okay? And then I'm going to show you how and where to go and why to get these quests. First off, let me address the whole, why am I going with no gear kit, okay? Let me tell you why. If, for whatever reason, um... I decide to fly out to Hurston to do these quests and I bring a bunch of gear with me and the game bugs out or the game crashes or my ship randomly explodes or any number of other glitches takes my character's life or ends the game. Well, I just lose that entire kit, okay? Um, so that's why we're going naked. We don't need gear to get gear. The game is that easy, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm in the ship, I'm at her L1, I push F2 to open the map, I'm gonna mouse wheel. Click on Hurston, click set route, you'll see it here at the top left, Hurston is the route that is set. This is all stuff from the previous video. See that blue arrow, I'm going to follow it to wherever it's pointing, there it is. I'm going to push B to spool up the quantum drive. Alright, and then once that's ready to go, I'm going to hold B to uh, warp there essentially. And the reason we're warping to Hurston is because I'm going to need... Uh, what is it? I'm going to need to be near Hurston to accept quests for Hurston, okay? I'll see you in a bit. All right, once you have arrived at Hurston, push F1 or F2 to open this menu here. Ma go down to Contracts Manager and click that. And then over here on the left side, click Mercenary. All right, so what you want to do is you want to find something that's easy to do. So in eliminate contraband stash that's actually a little more difficult let's try elite el evict illegal occupants okay um so that's twenty thousand. the cheapest is fifteen thousand. that's the easiest one assist in defending site here we go this is the easiest one fifteen thousand. uh and it basically we're going to go somewhere in hurston and kill all the bad guys okay so we're going to accept that offer there we go now we're going to click general at the top and then click mercenary again and then uh where is it uh, let's see. Call to Arms. Now, this is a bonus. This is just kind of like an add-on to the quest we already have. Every dude we kill, we're going to get an extra 500 space dollars, whatever it's called. I don't know what the actual currency is called. You can let me know in the comments. And we're going to accept that offer as well. Now, uh, by accepting this quest, it will automatically be tracked. You, you see how it says untrack here? We don't want to untrack it. And the easiest way to find it, I'm going to push F2 to close the menu. There's like a million different little spots to warp to right now. There's too many on the screen. Look at all the arrows everywhere. It's overwhelming. I'm going to push B to get rid of that menu. And there should be one arrow, one little blue box. There it is. HDSF Rufus. And I'm going to push B to respool up. And um, that's the easiest way to find your quest objective, okay? So again, we're going to warp there by uh, holding B. Once it's all ready to go, that's going to take us around the planet. And at this point, some people do crash. And if you had any loot on you, like a backpack or armor or guns or a loadout, it would be gone. 
So this is why I tell people, don't bring that stuff with you, you don't need it. You can run in completely naked and just defeat the entire zone with one dropped weapon or punch one guy out and take his weapon. It's that easy, okay? Some of these YouTubers out there, uh, they tell you to bring a full kit because they've never played a Call of Duty game in their life. They've never played a first-person shooter. They've never been competitive at any game. They're just like a Second Life player or a VR chat player. So from here, you need because it's the dark side of the planet, it's very dark. We need to pay attention to uh, to the right side of our screen here. You can see here our altitude meter. We need to watch this number and make sure it doesn't get too close to zero or we crash and die. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, increase our velocity. I'm going to turn on cruise control for now and hold my boosters and get as close as I can to this location by just flying towards it. And you can see I'm eight, about 7,500 feet above, you know, the surface, so I'm not going to crash into anything anytime soon. All right? So I'm paying attention to that number. Also, if you push the L button, you can turn on your ship's lights, which you, it won't do anything right now, but when we're closer to the surface, I'll, I'll show you that. Okay? Now, these bases have one turret on the top of them. Depending on your ship, you may or may not be able to kill the turret. I'm going to tell you all the things you need to do before you actually land and go inside this. This is called, or at least the people I hang out with, uh, they, they call this a bunker. This is called a bunker run. It's kind of like a little dungeon. I'm going to turn, I'm going to push C and turn off my cruise control because I don't want to go too fast. I'm getting a little closer to the surface now. And um, you hear that noise? That means I have radar, someone has radar locked on me. Uh, looking at my radar, I don't think it's a player. It's got to be the base here. So what this means is, it also says restricted area. This means that this base is going to shoot its turret at me. Alright, so I have a ship that can fight back and kill the turret. I'm going to do that and then explain to you what to do if you can't do that. I'm going to push T and lock onto the turret when I get close enough. Also, I'm a little close to the ground. So, I am taking damage. It's fine. We're alright. If you don't, it's kind of like Halo. If you don't take damage for a while, your shields regenerate. So be mindful of that. Also, you can just fly out of range. It's a turret. You can also kind of outmaneuver it too. So I'm pushing T to lock onto it, but it, I guess it's already locked on. I'm going to hold my weapons now, and I'm lagging quite a bit here, so it's kind of hard to aim. But all right, so let's give it the old just big juice. So shield's critical. We're going to back off a bit, and I'm just going to thrust her away just for a bit. Let him, let him hit the back shields. Okay, the front shields were damaged. The front shields were critical. Major torque imbalance. So I, my wing did get clipped there. It's fine. The turret does not have a shield, to my knowledge. It does not regenerate health. So backing away from the turret and then coming back after your shields have regenerated is fine. I don't really have a good heads-up display for my shields, uh, but it looks like they are active, and I don't see... Um, <laughs> I don't actually see any shield warnings anymore on my heads-up display, so we can go back in. And yes, if I got closer, I could blow this thing up a little bit faster. But uh, I am in just like a little transporty ship. I'm not really in a combat ship. So there we go. We got it locked on. The ship should help you aim and kill this thing. There we go. We're just going to light them up. And there we go. The, uh, the turret has exploded. So if you have a weaker ship than this, um, it's going to be... You, you won't be able to fight the turret. The turret will just kill you. And in later missions, the turret will kill you even easier. So let me show you how these bases are set up, okay? If I can stop lagging because the planet is loading, okay? Um, <laughs> so, well, come on game, stop, stop lagging. Here's the turret that exploded right here. There it is in all its glory and all its one FPS glory. Okay, so what you should do, and sometimes this turret won't be hostile. Sometimes it won't shoot at you. You should still destroy it anyway. Always destroy the turret, even if it's not hostile, because it can turn hostile, and it will target your ship and blow it up, If even if you're not in it. What you can do, though, if you have a weaker ship, is just land behind the turret, okay? The turret can't shoot through this column, and it won't sh clip your ship or anything. So just land here, and you can enter the bunker safely, okay? Um, but always kill the turret if you have the means to do so. I'm sure I could have done that much easier had I not been lagging and had I more experience in this game. But I don't. So now, what we want to do, because we really, really want to um, haul a bunch of loot out of here, okay? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to align the ship, zero it out, get as close to the entrance as possible, okay? And then I'm just going to turn it around, and I'm going to park it so that my cargo hold 
is facing the exit of the, you know, the the base, essentially, right? Just, just like this. Maybe a little too much. I think that's about... I think that's good. Let's look. I'm going to use my Z key and look behind me. Yeah, we can back that up a little bit. Strafe a little bit. And we have our landing gear out, so we are now safe to land it. And there we go. Cool. So we have a nice good landing. I'm going to turn the ship off because you don't want another player to come steal your ship. And then we're going to hop out. Also, I didn't show you the light. light. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought lighting was adequate. So, But yeah, um, different ships have different lighting power. Um, this one lights it up pretty good. So here we are. We're at the bunker. We're at the entrance to the bunker. You can see that the doorway is set up so that a small ship or even a small vehicle can't fit inside. This is meant to be on, done on foot. You'll see at the top it says hostiles remaining 3 out of 10. They will start spawning more than that once we go down there, okay? You're expected to kill a little bit more than that. So here's what we're basically going to do. We are going to run in there like a crazy madman, pick up someone's gun, and blast everybody. And then we're going to loot. But if we can't find a gun on the ground or a dead body to loot, we're just going to punch a guy out. And uh, it's it's that easy. So uh, here we go. Let me save my spot here for video editing reasons. Uh, there we go. Also, it's kind of laggy, so a, a few things, too. You could lag, you could disconnect. The enemies could lag and just warp around and kill you instantly, and that happens. So don't beat yourself up, okay? You All you've lost if you die here is time. You've lost nothing else. So there's a gun already on the ground. Uh, so I'm going to crouch down with control and click grab. Yoinkers! There we go. Now I'm, I'm going to run around. I'm not going to loot until everything is dead. That's a dead guard. The yellow guys don't shoot the yellow guys. So I am lagging really hard here, but here's a purple guy, he's down. There's a purple guy, he's down. Okay, it's that easy. You just run around and kill all the purples. That's a yellow guy, don't shoot the yellow guy. Now these guys will actually point and uh, kind of lock on to the enemy, but I just, I just, ouch. Okay, that was pretty bad. I walked right into that one. So in this case, I'm actually dying now. So I'm, I'm gonna loot this guy. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully he has a med pin on him. He does. And there we go. We're going to hit carry. Uh, or equip. Okay, well. We're just going to throw it on the ground so we can pick it up. Because the game, and you know, I'm... There we go. Grab it. 2%. 1%. There we go. And we just saved our life. It's that easy. <laughs> that was a very close call, man. I didn't plan that. I didn't plan that at all. So... Uh, that guy actually got, you know, this AI actually acted proper. Now, normally, I don't advise you loot until everything's dead, okay? Uh, because there's a guy here. Look, he's, he, this guy could have killed me while I was doing that whole loot and scoot thing, right? While I was applying the med pin. He's, he's very, uh, very gracious to let us heal. Let me show you the fast way to loot these guys. Um, so what you're going to do is push I, and you're going to throw your helmet on the ground, and you're going to take your suit and drag it down to this little icon and throw it on the ground. So you're completely naked. Then you're going to go to this body, and this is the only way I've gotten this to work, is look for the loot button. Then you see this undersuit, right-click it, click equip, that's going to give you his entire kit. And if you took the gun that he's using, he should have ammo in his suit already for it. So I'm going to grab his gun. There we go. So we have his gun and ammo for it. I'm going to go ahead and reload it because he did blast me a little bit with the gun. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, anyway, and then, again, don't bother looting until you've killed everybody, so it becomes a, a, a semi-safe zone. Alright, so just run around and kill the purple dudes. It's pretty easy. You don't have to be, like, super good at uh, FPS games. And look at the top of the screen. It'll say, Objective Complete. Don't harm allies. That means we didn't shoot any yellow bros, okay? That'll give you crime stat. Um, and then, Objective Complete. Go to the Rufus. We did that, and just, it'll keep going through everything, so... Objective complete, clear all hostiles, so now it's safe. It's safe to loot, and we you want to loot fast, because these guys start disappearing, okay? And I'm going to show you how to loot bodies. Uh, I'm going to talk about, oh, we also got 16,000. We got a little bonus there. It was only worth 15,000. I don't know why I got a bonus. I can't explain why. But we need to find our way out of this bunker, and the way out is usually down, not up. He's, he's going to act like he's pointing at somebody, but it's fine. We, we've cleared him out. The game told us we cleared him out. We're good to go. To get, to get out of here, you need to go down to go up. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but um, I just kind of run around the middle here, or the sides, <laughs> like a madman. 
and we're gonna here we go we go down to go up so we're going down there we go and I don't like that I'm injured I would like to find another med pin and top myself off we'll do that later but we're not losing health the heavy breathing is just because I'm sprinting around with gear all right we're going to go back to the ship now and um, I, I really wanted to do this without being shot but hey if you are shot now you know what to do grab one of those red pins and the menu wouldn't let me grab it from the menu. I had to drag it, drop it out of his inventory, exit the inventory, open the inventory, and then grab it and stab it in my leg before I pass out. Like, it doesn't get more action-packed than that, okay? Also, when you're parked, turn off your lights, because other players can see, like, a very well-lit-up ship. Also, if your ship is, is damaged, it's, it may be hard to open the doors. So what you're going to do is you're going to run into the cargo hole of your ship if you have one. If you don't, just get near the pilot seat, push I... And drag everything you got into this vehicle inventory screen. You see on, on the right here where it says vehicles? This is a vehicle inventory. Just put everything you got over there. Everything. Even your undersuit. Okay? This planet has an atmosphere. This is Hurston. You can breathe on it. You, you, it's not going to kill you. This is not outer space. There's plants here. See? That means there's oxygen. You're fine. All right, so now we go back down and we continue looting. Now, I'm going to tell you the more optimal way to do this is if you have what's called a tractor beam attachment for your multi-tool if you've ever played gmod you can grab corpses and pile them all onto this elevator lift it all up drag all the corpses near your ship and then strip them very very quickly however i don't have one and the the place that sells them is bugged out currently and i cannot buy one this is a loot crate by the way we're gonna we're gonna talk about those later we're gonna save those for last and the reason why is because those bodies will eventually disappear. So we want to loot the bodies as fast as we can. So we're just going to run around and look for bodies. And hopefully they haven't already despawned. They normally take a little bit of time. But um, the yellow guys will de will despawn faster than the purple guys. So um, this guy doesn't have any armor. So he's kind of pointless to, to loot. That guy does have armor. But there was a yellow boy somewhere that I wanted to get first. Because the yellow armor is... I think it's better. I think it's cooler. It is bright and yellow, which is stupid for, I guess, PvP, but, you know, if you're wearing purple armor and you're with friends, they might mistake you for a purple guy. Um, it looks like the yellow guy already despawned, and uh, here's uh, here's where we dropped our undersuit. So we know the, the yellow guy was around here, but he's, he's already gone. So let's go loot another set of armor the same exact way. Let's go find a body. Hopefully they didn't despawn. Um, that would be re re really kind of cringe. Here we go. Here's a guy. And we're going to do it the same way. We're just going to click loot and then equip his undersuit, which takes his entire suit. I don't know why it does that. And then I'm going to drag his body away from his gun just for a second. I'm going to hit spacebar to jump and let go. Crouch down. Gr equip the gun. That way I can pick up another gun. Once you have an actual suit of armor equipped, you can actually put guns on your back. I guess it's like a mag magnetized thing. Also, guns that float, you can't really grab them, and you can't knock them out of the air, to my knowledge. So here's another heavy armor dude. We're going to loot him later. Let's just go ahead and grab whatever this gun is. Uh, there we go. We got two guns. If I had heavy armor, I can put two on my back and one in my hands. All right. Also, uh, here's a loot crate. This is a medical crate. So we're going to try to fill our pockets with as much stuff as possible. I'm going to grab a medical gun and put it on my hip. Okay, I'm going to grab another one, put it on my hip too. There we go. And then I'm going to grab the healing med pin. I'm going to put that on number two, number three, and I'm going to put one of these green ones on the gun. It, on, was it number? Yeah, I want number one. That's going to fill the gun with it, the med gun that we picked up, and number two there. So, or at least it's supposed to. Well, screw it. Let's just fill up our belt with them. These are still good to have. Um, okay, so five and six were the guns. You can see that they're loaded in, into the med guns now. So we, they have juice. We, all, all, almost all of our pockets are filled. Remember, green means nothing. A blue circle means there's something in that slot. So we have full slots now. We can't carry anything else because we don't have the backpack. But sometimes you can find the backpacks around here. All right, we got to move. And normally I don't mess with the loot crates until after I've looted all the bodies, but once you've looted all the bodies, you kind of have to hold on to a set of armor and an undersuit anyway. And we're just going to take the elevator back up. And like I said, if you have a grav gun or a multi-tool with tractor beam, you just pile all the dead bodies into the elevator so they don't despawn, then drag them all to the ship and strip them off, jump in the ship, and deload it all. Alright, so this is basically, uh, we've got money, we've got loot, and all of this loot that we're getting right now, we can vendor it. We can sell all of this for more money. 
Or you can keep it for loadouts and role playing and whatever you want to do with it. I'm also kind of parked a little crooked. It looks like a little crooked parking. All right. So let's go ahead and strip this down, throw the gun, and grab the gun off the backpack. Also, if you mouse over and you don't see anything highlighted, just tilt the camera around and then highlight it on and off until it like the game recognizes you're trying to touch loot, okay? Let's see, grab the arm armor. Remember, you have body armor, arm armor, and leg armor. All right, and then of course we want, like right now I can't select the helmet, so I'm just kind of moving my camera around, trying to get the helmet. I'm just gonna drag the suit. If you drag the suit, it drags the helmet too. And he's making like a pain face. He's like, ouchies. So, you know, let's let's carry a med pen. Or you know what, let's, uh, there we go, we got it. It actually worked that time from our ship inventory. Let's just give ourselves another old stabby stab and that topped off our health, so we're pretty good. Um, also, I guess I grabbed multiple pins. Or, it's gone now. Okay, okay game, whatever. Whatever. And again, remember, shut your door so a player can't come up here, steal your ship with all your loot inside. Very important. Always lock your doors. Okay, just like in real life, you wouldn't leave your car unlocked in real life. You wouldn't leave your trunk open to go into the grocery store, would you? This is basically the grocery store, but you have to beat everyone up first, okay? Um, that's actually, I guess, a time-sensitive joke. Probably shouldn't talk about grocery stores. Anyway... <laughs> You know, worked at a retail store 13 years. It's uh, It gets to me, okay? Now we're going to grab more loot. Now, the loot in here, we want to have a set of armor to grab because you don't have pockets. You know, your shorts don't have... Your underwear doesn't have pockets, rather. But we want to strip those bodies before they des despawn. I don't want regular clothing, so I'm not going to grab this guy's stuff. I don't really care. But this guy, look at his juicy loot. You can also... You can see here, uh, if, you, if you select his armor, like that's his undersuit. Here's his armor. Um, it, well, it's not telling me what it is. Anyway, let's just go to loot. Just click loot. You can hover over it. You can see it's a heavy armor. This is a heavy armor. This is a medium armor. So this guy was almost fully kitted. I like full heavy. That's my personal preference. And remember, if you can find their gun, too, then it has all the ammo with it. But before we go back up... Oh, there's a gun. Maybe that's his. It flew all the way back here. And we're going to click equip. Since he has a heavy chest piece, again, we can equip two guns and carry one in our arms. So we're going to click equip again. Now, should, now we have two weapons on our back. And if we pick up one more in our hands, then we can carry that with us out of here. So I'm going to click grab now. So now I have three weapons. But if I grab anything else with my hands, I drop this gun. Uh, so this medical crate, is there anything else in here that I really want? I like these little paramed refills. They're not worth very much though. Let's... Uh, Let's make our way back out. Okay, that's a that's a guard. It's okay. They're not coming back. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's Gucci. Don't let them spook you. I want to... Where was that red crate that I saw earlier? I know it's around here. Let's go dig around in that. That's usually either a gun crate or a tool crate. And I'm curious. Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Isn't is it? Yeah, okay. If you want to know if something's lootable, hold F and just mouse over it. It'll light up. All right, please be a tool crate. It is not. It's a pistol crate. It's got some heavy uh, leg armor, too. So we, we... Oh, it's light armor. Ew. Ew, gross. Yeah, so gun on the hip. The six-shooter on the hip. We can only put one on that hip, though, because, uh, again, we have a med pen on this hip. It's fine. What do we have here? Right, let's start filling these slots up. Grab all the mags. There we go. And, uh... If what you do, if you go to inspect, you can grab the clips out of these guns, if you or magazines out of these guns, if you really want to. Also, we can click open on the legs. Uh, if there's an inventory for the legs, um, then we will see that. But there's not. So I've got a I've got a lot of loot here, and you know I'm gonna check the back there later for more loot crates. Don't worry, we're gonna check all of the spots where loot crates that I know that where they can spawn. We're we're not coming out of here empty-handed, okay? I think that was the last of the corpses, though, to loot. So just to be safe, I'm going to hold on to the armor. Uh, oh, that's a loot crate, too. Is this a... Please be a tool chest, man. I want tools. No? It's got a lot of guns, though, man. It's pretty good. Uh, guns are guns are good sellers. Armor, like heavy armor, and for whatever reason, submachine guns sell very well. But, of course, the rare guns, like sniper rifles, rocket launchers. I found a rail gun. A rail gun is an anti-vehicle weapon. It just... It'll blast a spaceship out of the sky. It's very cool. Um, very rare, at least. I've only found one in, like, several days of playing. So, 
Uh, yeah, so we're just going to continue looting this ship now. And like I said, if you have a grav gun, you just pile them up on the elevator. It makes it super quick. But I don't have that. So, also, um, I don't think the turret respawns, at least not in a reasonable amount of time. I've never had a turret respawn and blast my ship. But if you're worried about that, uh, then by all means. Also, the quicker way, instead of trying to pull all your little gun clips, magazines, whatever they're called, out off your belt... Just throw your armor, just throw it all into the ship's inventory, okay? Make sure you throw it, because it'll automatically throw the guns that you had on your back too in there. And then just re-equip the armor manually, alright? So I'm just going to put this armor back on. And what is this? J just any kind of armor so I can carry it. I'm going to click equip. There we go. See, that worked. Dragging it didn't work for some reason. So we have, I don't really need the helmet. Because again, I can breathe, I can breathe out here. You do need the undersuit to wear the armor, so that's why I haven't taken the undersuit off. And because we're not looting any more bodies, we we don't, you know, we don't we can keep the undersuit on. We only take the undersuit off to loot the undersuit to do a full loot on a body, if that makes sense. I know that sounds crazy, but that is the faster way to do it. So let's uh let's grab some more guns. This is only a light armor, unfortunately, so I can't stack three guns. I really should have grabbed a heavy armor so I can grab more guns. That was my bad. I'm kind of in a rush. I don't want to waste your guys' time. I don't want you clicking off the video if you get bored, because I want to show you where all the loot boxes are. Also, be careful of the elevator. I jumped off there like that. That could break your legs and kill you, which uh, would be bad, since I have the light armor only. You know what? No, let's keep going. Let's let's look around some more. Make sure I, I'm not missing any bodies. You want to make sure you do a full clean sweep so those bodies don't despawn, because we missed the yellow guy that died. All right? And it, there is a chance that the yellow guy just got knocked out. Alright, clean sweep. Checking all the bodies. Let's go in here. What is what is that? Nothing so far. No loot craties. Maybe, unless I'm just really being a spaz. Sometimes they're under the table here. Sometimes they're just on the shelf. There's usually stuff in this room. Like, in, these, in each of these little corners, there could be a loot crate. Not really seeing any. Sometimes there. This, wow, this is rare to have this one empty with no loot crates. Very odd indeed. Very unusual. Let's see. I mean, there could be stuff up on here, around here. I'm, again, I'm. this is just a completely dead empty room. Very unusual. Very rare. Oh, well. Now, let's continue looking for lootable crates and stuff. Also, is that is that a gun? Yeah, see, there's a gun there. Grab it. Yoinkers. Yoinkers. Can't grab these because they're stuck in the air. Another loot box. Have I checked this one yet? Look at that. We got a nice blue undersuit. I don't know why you'd want that. Go ahead and equip this helmet. Equip these fat arms. Let's see. Can I, um... I have to... Can I put this on my back? It's not going to let me. Yeah, because I, I only have the light armor, huh? So, uh, so we're losing out on a gun there. Again, checking these crates. Let's see, can I put this away? Okay, we've put that away, but I think if I pick this up, it drops. And I... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hit grab. And you'll see my other gun will probably drop on the ground. Maybe, yeah, there it is. So, I think I'd rather have this. this. This gun looks cooler. So, yeah. I don't know what the best guns are. I know the submachine guns sell very well. And the power weapons. So... Again, we're just checking, we're just checking. Our journey is not over yet, though. If I wanted to be really min-maxi, I would run through and grab every single gun. You don't have to, though. It's fine. Okay. Um, it's whatever that you want to loot and leave with. Let's see. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I swear there was one more body, but it might have disappeared. Or I'm just... I don't know. Who knows? Now, if you have a buddy that takes out the satellite, I have no idea how to take out the satellite right now. I flew near a satellite, it just shot missiles and killed me. But if you kill a satellite, you can kill the guards without becoming a criminal, and that's more loot for you. But I don't know how difficult or easy taking out that satellite is, or if you need a special ship or what. Uh, no looty crates there. Again, we're checking for looty crates, because we don't want to miss any power weapons. We don't want to miss tools. Doesn't look like, uh, this This honestly wasn't the best haul, or the best example, because I did end up getting shot completely armorless. Oh yeah, we forgot about this one. Um, so we can, again, fill our, because it's light armor, we have less pockets. But I'm going to go ahead and grab these. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, let's see, LMG, that's a good weapon. Twin shotgun, nah. SMG, SMG, SMG. 
if I really wanted to, I can come back down here and get all these guns. That's like 6k extra. It's Again, that's not a lot in this game. It's really not. But for for a new character, it's pretty darn impressive, okay? Now we're going to go to the surface. And um, like Tarkov, we have to extract or get the heck out of here. The, the journey is not over. Just because we put the loot in the ship does not mean that we get to keep it. It is not permed yet, so to speak. We can still lose this. If my internet connection dies, it's all gone. I had a full ship of loot uh, from multiple bunkers, and then my internet died, and I just lost all of it because I didn't secure it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what that's like, and uh, we are flying in a in a semi-injured ship because our wing got shot by the turret, so we're, our flying's a little wonky right now. All right, yoink off those arms and that armor, and. Throw that rifle in there. I'm keeping the helmet on because, well, it is space, and I want a helmet for space travel, you know, in case something happens and I, like, fall through the ship. Even if you are you think you're comfy in your ship, you, like, you, don't, you can breathe oxygen in your ship. But if there's a bug and you sink through the bottom of your ship and you're in space, you'll be glad that you had a helmet on, okay? It's like riding a motorcycle. Don't ride a motorcycle without a helmet. All right, so let's secure that loot now. We're going to fly back to uh, her L1. So I'm going to turn the ship on by pushing I, there we go, I'm going to lift off by holding space, and my, again, my steering's a little wonky because my wing is clipped, I'm going to take off my landing gear so that it gets sucked into the belly, let's point up 90 degrees, hold W with max thrusters, hold my boost, and let's break the atmosphere to get the hell off this planet and get back to town to store it. So you see major torque imbalance up top. Again, that's because my ship got shot either in the engine or on a wing. Uh, you can see on my heads-up display, it looks like I had a bit of an injury in the back here somewhere. So, whatever. Alright, so we gotta break the atmosphere before we can use our quantum drive to warp home. Now, we're still not safe yet. Even though we're not on a planet and there's no bad guys that can shoot us on the planet, obviously. We can still get killed by another player, or an NPC, or a bug, or a glitch, or a game crash. Okay? So I'm going to turn on cruise control while I just blast off. I'm going to open the map, and I'm going to find her L1. This is where we bound to, and click it so it highlights here at the top right. Click set route. Now it's here on the navigation mode. I'm going to close the menu, and we are all set to go. I'm going to turn off cruise control. I'm very much out, out of the atmosphere now, and let's spool up our quantum drive. So, if this happens, like, this is blacking out. Just roll. Just roll your ship. You see how my vision got really red there? Um, I don't know what causes that, but just, just roll your ship, and it will prevent you from passing out, okay? That's all there is to that. And now I'm going to hold B to initiate the quantum warp, and uh, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Oh, by the way, I want to mention something. Don't store bodies in your cargo hold don't store boxes or items like okay when i say don't store items open your inventory to store items do not actually store physical uh like objects in the game world in your ship because they will bounce around and deal hull damage and blow your ship up it's happened many many times even a medical gown box bouncing around in the cargo hold will blow your ship up it's silly I don't know if it's a bug or intentional, but um, <laughs> make sure you only have items secured in the inventory screen and nothing more. All right, so we're about at her L1, and what we have to do is we have to land, and as soon as we land, we need to open our inventory and throw it into the town's inventory. So I'm going to turn off my, uh, my warp, turn it back on, so I can get just a little bit closer, a little bit faster here. And there we go. All right, turn that off. And then we're going to uh, coast up here. I'm going to go ahead and start slowing down because we're going to basically just kind of glide over it here. And I believe the parking is kind of over here-ish, so that's where I'm going to aim. And I think I've, uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was looking at it upside down. At least I think I was. I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. But I want to make sure that I'm pointing in an area where I'm not going to be ramming into anything because this is dense space, so you kind of you kind of slide around, all right? You don't want to be too slidey. Now, as soon as the top tell, yeah, please contact ETC to land. Cool. So let's slow down, partner. Hit that F11 key. Hit friends. Talk to them. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. 
And where is the landing bay, good sir? Mm, yes, indeed, it is over here. Very, very cheerio chap chap. <laughs> uh, okay, now we have to make sure that we don't crash the plane or we lose all of our hard work and our loot, okay? So again, make sure you take it nice and slow and steady here, okay? Don't have to rush this part, we've made it. Another player could gun us down and become a criminal, whatever, it's fine. Okay, make sure that landing gear's down, push that in key, get that landing gear down. Landing gear deployed, I'm an AI. Mm. Alright, and then we'll just, you know, take her in nice and slow, just tap that control key, and touch down, we did it. Okay, turn the ship off immediately, hold Y, get out of the seat, you gotta do this quick before someone kills you, or the game crashes, or you randomly die. Push I, and you'll see here the local storage is on the right, the vehicle storage is on the left. Drag and drop every single item, yes, you have to do this. Do this quickly before the, your internet dies, before um, the cat trips over your internet cord, before um, the the sun EMPs everything in real life. You gotta get you gotta secure your loot. Secure your loot now. Do it. Hurry up. Don't rip off your helmet. You need that to get inside the base, okay? Because you want to rest on a bed and get all your food and your hydration and your health back up to full. Because we were shot, you know. Even though we med pinned it, it doesn't mean that we're not injured in some way. the 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 bed will heal everything. It doesn't matter how bad of a bullet wound you, you got, you're, you're not permanently crippled, okay? So we're gonna throw, I, again, I know this is annoying and sometimes I'm pulling gear out, just try to angle it in between. I'm trying to do this in a, in a fast way, so uh, there we go. All right, just yoink it all in there and then once you get inside the base, you can take your helmet off or you can keep it on for your next adventure. It's whatever you wanna do, man. See, I keep pulling these arms out. You just gotta. If you want, you you hover over it. It'll it'll open up a little empty spot for you to drop it, or you can just try to drop it in between the little square. Like you see the you see the cross here. There's a little dot in the middle. Just make sure it's not touching any of these little loot boxes, okay? So like, get it right in between there, and it'll open up a little spot for you. You don't have to wait for the animation if you're very, you know, careful with how you do it. But there we go. We have secured all the loot and mission successful. We almost died though. <laughs> Oh boy, and I'm just gonna exit out the... Oh, by the way, there's another thing you can do too. If you're not going to uh, log out or anything, you can push F2, and down here there is a vehicle maintenance services. You click that, and uh, I think I need to be in the, the pilot seat for that to work. So let's, let's sit in the chair. Let's get back in that chair. But we have to secure the loot first. Repair the ship later, okay? Um, so there we go. We're gonna sit in the chair. Ta-da! Now we're gonna hit that button. We're gonna go down here to vehicle ma maintenance, and uh, because we were injured, I'm just gonna click auto repair on all of these things. Remember, we got 16,000 plus 500 per kill. This is cheap. This is easy. It's completely fine. It's gonna repair our ship so we don't have wonky flying. Give us more gas. All that good stuff. So there, it's processing the repair, and we're done. We are all set. Everything is good to go. We can now leave the ship. And I'm just going to exit the ship through the cockpit because that's cool. That's pretty darn heckin' cool, right? And uh, yeah, that's we basically extracted ourselves like like it was Tarkov. Make sure the back door is locked. Don't leave that out. This this closes automatically. It's closed. And now we can go back in and rest in that medical bed, which is uh, conveniently nearby on the space station. If you watch that first video that I have, link in the description, by the way. Uh, it's so much easier to get to the med bay than it is if you were on Lorville. All right, and remember, even though the ship's out here, another player can still destroy this. That's why you move the loot out of it ASAP, okay? Like a griefer can just fly in and tip your plane into the atmosphere, and it'll all your loot's gone forever. And believe you me, once I start playing this war, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be tipping planes. <laughs> It's just 30 minutes in the mines. I'm okay with that. You know, they got to work the next day. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, you, you can have a lot of fun in this game. But this this guide, this video, was essentially how to teach you to secure your loot, get loot, get paid for doing quests. And you can just repeat this infinitely as much as you want. And if you look, I'm going to click sword. Look at all the times I've done it. Look at all these arm armors, helmets. Okay, I've been doing this for a little while now. I think this is a fun gameplay loop, okay? 
if I want to go shoot some some other players or like invade a ship or something, I've got so much gear. I've got tons of guns and ammo of for everything. Okay, look at all. Like I have like a literal matrix armory here. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, the door shut. Hey, uh, reopen the door. Thank you. And let's go to that med bay. And he, the med bay. If you if you skip the first video, I'll show you how to do it again. You click the patient check in. It's gonna give you a room number. Okay, that said room three. I saw it flash. I um, I have that just frame eyesight. I don't know if the recording software caught it, but we're, we're room three. The, the door won't open if you're not room three. And we're just gonna lie down on the bed. That's gonna rehydrate and feed us. And um, basically, we're uh, we're all set to log out here at this point. Okay. Uh, let's see here. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I'm Soul Binging. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to be extra edge lordy and you want to do uh, more runs, you can go to medication and give yourself some meds so that if you do get shot, it doesn't hurt as bad. Um, though, I don't know too much about this yet. I know I think I'd... Uh, if you overdose on this and you get all woozy and you can't run straight or shoot straight, then you can just lay back on the bed and it'll cleanse all the drugs out of your system, okay? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you had some fun. hope you learned something. Uh, come on back tomorrow for another video. Maybe not maybe not Star Citizen, maybe something else, but videos every day on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss out. If you want to monetarily help me out, click the, the thanks button below this video. It's a one-time donation. It will highlight your comment. It's a big flex on the other comments. It even shows how much you donated to everybody. And if you want to become a channel member, you can click that join button. That's five bucks a month. And apparently I'm a vampire because I have a reflection. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, Click the join button. It's five bucks a month. It's like being a Twitch subscriber, and it, it it really helps me out. It's really cool. You get access to private and personal videos. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. Mwah.